In this video, we'll learn to set up and use Google Wallet. So let's get into it. All right, this is the main interface. I have already used the app before, so you might get some additional options such as choosing your Google account, enabling NFC, etc. To add a payment card such as a debit or credit card, we'll tap here. A new screen will pop up. I already have cards saved in my Google account so I can see those too but I'll add a new card. On this screen you'll add your card details. You can scan your card with your camera or enter details manually. We'll enter details manually. For the first time the app will ask you to put in your address and phone number. Once that's done you'll see the terms and conditions screen. Scroll down to see the accept button. The next step is verifying your card. You'll get a message on your number. This is not the number you provided. This number is from your bank, I think. I'll request a message code and within a few seconds, I'll receive the code to put in. After that code, you'll get this screen. If Google Wallet is not the default payment app, you can make it default here. Type on this replace button. Then your card is ready to be used. Let's click OK. On this main interface now, you can tap on the card to open details. We have the activity option where you'll see your history and make this card the default. Google Wallet replaces your card number with a virtual one to keep your original card secure. You can also give this card a name if you have multiple cards. Some options are on the top as well. This button lets you add new cards. Google Wallet supports many card types. You can add a transport card, but the app supports limited and you will have to search for yours. You can add a loyalty card to scan while shopping. The app shows your local stores, so it's easier to find. Let's search for Colts flybys and scan the card's barcode. Tap on this button to add it to the app. Now you can just scroll down to find this card. You can also add gift cards here. I don't have any right now, so I'll skip it. Google Wallet can save your travel boarding passes. Here's a photo of one of my travels saved in the Google Wallet app. All right, the last part is learning to use it. When you see a contactless terminal, you can open the Google Wallet app and choose your card and tap your phone against the terminal. You'll hear a tone and see this screen. If Google Wallet is your default payment app, you don't need to open the app to pay. Once the payment is complete, you'll get this notification. Tapping here will take you to the payment details such as the amount, business location and the card used. You'll also see your recent activity by tapping on a card. If you are unsure about your bank supporting Google Wallet, tap here and click on this option. Choose your country and see all the participating banks. Other settings are available in the wallet setting option, but I've never changed anything and I'm sure you won't either. So this is it. Thanks for watching this video. Please let me know if you have any questions. I'll catch you later. Take care.